This video will show you how to run the engineering component for CFS trusses in Vertex PD. It will use a half hit roof for which the trusses have already been generated using the generate parts method. It is important to note that this newest method of adding the truss structures should be used and not the older in incompatible truss structures method. Now we need to add in the truss connections. These are a series of connection details that are necessary to fix the trusses to each other and to the walls. These connections are vital in successfully running the engineering and are accessed via the connection details command which is found in the engineering tab. Go to the trusses directory to see all the available truss connections. Double click the thumbnail. Now select the truss and confirm. Once the options are defined, click OK. If not done already, please generate the truss part numbers as the engineering requires each member to have an ID for it to run. It is also a requirement that ceiling or horizontal structure is directly below the bottom cord of the roof truss as this is used for generating some of the loads by calculating the engineering results. With these steps complete, the actual engineering can now be run. First go to the engineering tab and select define building internal pressure area. The internal pressure area will automatically be defined as shown in the pop-up and the dashed red line. However, it is possible to manually define this by clicking the relevant option. Furthermore, it is essential that all of the loads for the ceiling structures be calculated before the same loads are calculated for the trusses. To actually calculate the wind loads, again go to the engineering tab and select the wind loads command. If the ceiling layers are currently packed, then a prompt will appear. Now select the ceiling to add the wind loads and confirm. The system will then ask to define the main wind direction, which can be set by the left and right arrow keys. Once this step is confirmed, the design criteria window will appear. For the design code, certain aspects will be greyed out depending on the region. However, reliability and service classes can be defined. For the wind loads themselves, these can be manually or automatically defined based on the supplied information. For this example, the settings will be left as they are, and then windows will be calculated when you press OK. You then need to repeat this step for the roof. The next step is the member and trusses analysis function. This allows you to set different live, dead and snow loads and also set buckling rules. Once they are defined, click OK and select the truss envelopes confirming afterwards. The program will run through all of the trusses calculating all of the loads. Any errors or warnings will appear in the messages window and clicking a message will display where the error is. These usually highlight if a member fails, in which case a thicker gauge of seal could be used to rectify, ensuring member design is rerun after any changes are made. The final step is to produce the engineering outputs and drawings. This is done via the trusses results command. First choose the truss envelopes and confirm, then choose the drawing type. The results will build and can be accessed via the project document browser. The engineering drawings contain a wealth of information displaying if the design passes or fails, along with calculation results, connection results and reactions, and any errors if applicable. More in-depth information can be found from the member results command in the engineering tab. This function has all of the calculated information about each piece. However, this example only has information regarding the truss pieces and a different way to access the errors and warnings. Generally, the piece information will include the profile label, its type, and a brief summary of the loads involved. Full calculations can be accessed by selecting the relevant piece and clicking the detailed output button. Similarly, stress indices can be accessed the same way. This concludes the video on trust engineering. Thank you for watching.